February 2015, 25 drama and media students from Stratford East London were told they were going on a trip with a difference. A nine-day journey from Stratford East London to Stratford-upon-Avon to learn about canals, Shakespeare, and most importantly, themselves. You guys have been chosen to be part of the Canal and River Trust's first ever Stratford to Stratford canal boat project. You up for it? Yeah! We want to bring these students from East London to learn about the canals and really, really enjoy them. We want them to learn about Shakespeare, to learn about how he's not just some guy from 400 years ago, but he's relevant now. And we really want them to learn about themselves and grow in confidence. Before getting on the water though, there was work to be done. The team had just a few short sessions to decide on the play, the casting, and set the ground rules for a week living together. There were also workshops with some of the most experienced Shakespeare performers in the country. A chance to learn firsthand from the experts. The Royal Shakespeare Company wants to help out with this, this project which I just heard a tiny bit about and it sounded insane but fantastic. It's the kind of madness that can only produce something wonderful. At the end of June, after months of preparation, the moment had come. In East London, the boats were ready, the trip was about to begin. Students got to see their floating homes for the first time. I'm surprised! It's bigger than I expected, yeah. much bigger. For everyone, it marked the start of their journey. I feel excited, relieved, a little bit stressed, but there's a really nice energy around. And then arms out a bit more. With a short moment in the spotlight, the students set off on London's canals. The young people used to the noise of the city. Many were surprised about how quiet it was traveling in the canals. I think it's really good. It's, it's London from a different view. We haven't even left London yet. And I think I'm elsewhere. I thought, oh, London, surely it must be like loud and busy everywhere. But on this canal, it's just quiet, it's just peaceful. We've got past the, the first stage of being on their phones. When I got to a point where actually this morning and yesterday when we were traveling, there was a couple of cranes and we kind of cooled down the boat. Let's have a look out the window. And they were hooked on it. But all there was the opportunity to learn how boats work and a chance to learn new skills. It was super fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was yeah. really scary. Because you think you're going to crash because like, yeah. when you turn, it carries on going that way. So. And then you have to like remember that you have to steer the wheel. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. I never thought I'd be able to even be in the boat in the lock. And now I'm, I'm the one controlling the lock. I didn't even know this, this even existed. <laughs> That's the thing. For many, this was also their first time away from home. And that meant new responsibilities. Cooking, cleaning and looking after each other. They have to think of each other. We're in a really confined space. They've been in teams, so one team is cooking while the other is washing up. Usually at home, mum does everything for me, really. I cooked for the first time. It was really nice. Everyone enjoyed it, so I'm happy. The trip, though, was also a challenge. To learn and rehearse a play before they got to Stratford-upon-Avon. This meant rehearsals every day, anywhere, and everywhere they could along the route. Being able to just step off a canal boat and get straight into rehearsals is kind of a luxury. And considering we've got to do this in less than a week, it's exactly what we need. As the pressure grew towards the first performance, costumes were created, props were painted, and media students on the trip made flyers and promoted the play on the street and online. Guys, come and watch our production. We're from Stratford, but not this Stratford. But there was also time for fun and a chance to meet a famous actor and supporter of the trip. I think it's absolutely wonderful and I applaud the whole initiative and uh, I wish them all the best. Then, after six days navigating 68 miles of canals and 90 locks, this travelling combo of actors finally made it to their destination, the birthplace of Shakespeare. Stratford upon Avon, this is it, like there's been so much sort of buzz up until this point getting to here. So to actually be here now, like, cherry on top of the cake really. For now though, it was time to rest. Tomorrow would bring the day performance from this travelling company of actors. Then the performances themselves. The Stratford to Stratford Fair to Company presenting a Midsummer Night's Dream. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. These lovers seek a place to fight. For all involved, it was a special moment. We just finished first show. Amazing. The audience loved it. There were laughs, there were things happening. It was really good. And you can just see from their reactions just how, how well it went. Best experience of my life so far. I love it. It bangs! That's what I can say! 
it's been eye-opening to look at some of the, the students' reactions and the way they've dealt with things. I've gained a lot of life experience. Before, I did not know what a lock was. Now I know how to operate one, open it. Some people have really stepped up to the game and without sounding massively cheesy, really grown in the process. You just learn so much to not be so compacted into yourself. By the time I got home, I was like, I'm bored of my phone already. I want to talk to someone. I don't want to look at a screen. I learn about myself a lot because we're with each other through thick and thin. It's a lot better than social media. Like, If you're upset, you can put your phone down and nobody will see the aspect of you. But this one was just full on, this is me and I'll take you for who you are. I've learned some amazing things about them, shared stories with them about their life, got to know more about their families, as they have with each other as well. So that, you know, even just for that reason, this trip's been hugely important. Oh!